Hey guys, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Jump Shaper Jump Rope and sort of sharing with you guys my thoughts, giving a review on it, going through the pros and the cons. For any of you that have seen this, you can get an idea of whether this is the right product for you. For many of you that have commented in my section down below, a lot of you have actually said that your preferred form of cardio is a jump rope. So I thought this might be an interesting review for you guys so you can see if this is gonna be the right product for you. So let's jump straight into the video. So let's jump straight into the pros of this jump rope. So for me, the most important thing when it comes to a piece of equipment, regardless of what it is, is, is its ability for me to stay consistent with it. And the problem with for a lot of people when it comes to using a jump rope is sometimes you can be restricted by where you can jump rope depending on weather and depending on space. I have a jump rope here. It's one of those ones where it has an interchangeable rope with different weights. It's got different weights in the handle. So it's a good jump rope. The problem is I can't stay consistent with it because my preferred place to work out is in the garage and as you can see or if you've seen in previous videos this is quite a low ceiling which means I can't use this skipping rope inside of this house I can only use it outdoors so I live in the UK and then many times of the year we can actually have bad weather so basically my ability to be able to be consistent with this form of cardio is dependent on the weather so that is not a very good thing when you're trying to build consistency when you're trying to get fitted when, when you're trying to lose weight I can't use it upstairs because of things that are coming down in the ceiling or just general space because it's quite a long rope depending on, on your height that can change but it's not something I can use in a house and it's only something I can do outdoors and there's going to be many of you out here they're exactly the same the other thing is well it could be noise the idea of actually the rope hitting down there's only certain places you can go because the noise could be an issue if you've got neighbors maybe you live in a flat where this is something that is going to allow you to get around that issue because it turns it into sort of a wireless skipping rope and that is something that's going to be really really powerful it means that now i'm in here i'm able to do my skipping because no longer do i have to worry about the height issue i can do it in here i can do it upstairs for many of you it can be wherever you want to be you're not then restricted by space or your environment which means your consistency to be able to reach your goals is going to be far easier to stick to and that's such an important thing when it comes to any fitness endeavor the second pro I want to talk about is actually the digital screen on here where it has some really, really powerful metrics that are going to help many of you, again, stay consistent. But for some of you that find those metrics important, this is going to be something that you're going to want to look after. The thing that I normally have an issue with when it comes to skipping is I'm more focused on how many skips that I've done than the actual skipping itself, or I have to try and remember how many I've done. I can put a timer on, but I'm always counting in my head how many I'm doing, and that can take away what I'm trying to do, where it means focusing on my core, focusing on my form trying to make everything better that distraction has an impact on my performance and therefore how many calories I can do my technique and everything like that where this has, has a metric where it can count how many that you've done so that's something you no longer have to worry about and it's taken care for you the only thing you've got to add in is your weight and I think that goes towards about the calories but on here it obviously counts how many skips that you've done it also counts how long you've been going on for and I'm pretty sure I read in it that you can actually set a timer in there if you don't want to use your phone it's got a timer in there so you can see how long you've been skipping for. And also the final thing is, is it actually tells you how many calories you're going for. So for any of you that are on a calorie deficit and maybe you're using my fitness power, any of these different things where it wants to know how many calories that you burn, at least this gives you a good ballpark that you can put in that can help you sort of stay on track when it comes to creating a calorie deficit if you're trying to lose weight or to burn fat. So I think that's a really, really powerful thing there. The third benefit I actually want to talk about is the idea of learning how to skip or for some people that just want to use the form of skipping as a way or burning calories or just staying fit, but finding act of skipping itself difficult, or they want to have something that allows them to be able to build the confidence to be able to do it. So for many people, they'll know that there's a lot of benefits towards skipping. You can burn a lot of calories. It's something you don't need a lot of equipment for and potentially not even a lot of space for. So it's very, very appealing for a lot of people that are looking to burn fat or just to get fitter. The problem is there are going to be some people that whether it's their weight, maybe they're not very good, they're not very athletic, maybe they don't have a lot of coordination, they find that the actual activity of skipping actually gets in the way of the activity itself and what I mean by that is we can get our heart rate up and burn a lot of calories and work our legs but if we're forever hitting our legs and we're not able to get a consistent number of continuous skips in a row it can impact on the activity itself where if you have something like this you're basically doing the same movement everything's exactly the same however you don't have to worry about the time and the coordination of it and actually making sure that you jump over the rope to still be able to get a good workout in obviously if it's something you want to 
to learn and progress and actually get good at skipping, you're going to have to sort of learn how to do that eventually. But this allows you to say, you know what, I'll learn to do a little bit of skipping after I'll spend a little bit of time trying to get the timing and the, the coordination to just skip, but I can still have this option here so I can still get a really good workout in, burn some calories and get my heart rate up. The fourth benefit I wanted to talk about is whenever you buy one of the Jump Shaper Drop Ropes, you will also get included a detailed daily program which includes a tracking sheet. But this will keep you motivated and committed. Each time you finish a workout, just simply write down your stats and you can complete the workouts for each day. You'll also get a load of PDFs of different books ranging from how to actually lose weight to five ways to change your habits to change your life. If this wasn't enough, you'll also get a results guarantee, meaning if you're not satisfied with your results after three months, you will get your monies back. So what I also want to talk about now I've sort of like finished with the benefits. I want to talk about the different ropes that you're going to get of them and how they work. So you're going to get a traditional rope here that you, you'll be able to use like any other rope. And obviously it threads through this hole here and comes out the other side and it's locked in. So the benefit of this is, is you have sort of like your generic length rope, skipping rope. And obviously you can then adjust the length of it to suit you because obviously really what you want to do is you get the height of the skipping rope to fit you. And I think the most common thing is, is you put your foot on the string and you lift up to about armpit height and that gives you about the length that you should be looking for when trying to set the skipping rope to your height because you don't want it too long you don't want it too short so one quick thing that I want to add when it comes to the actual length of the rope and I think this is actually something really really important to actually highlight is the fact that when you have a traditional rope let's say you have one of those cheap ones it's literally one length and that's it. When you have more of these sort of expensive style of ropes, what they tend to get you to do is actually get the height that you need and then you cut it off and then it's set there, which means that only one person can use this rope. Because you have this style of rope where you thread it in and you pull it through, you actually have that ability to be able to adjust your length. It means that more people can have access to this rope. So there could be you, it could be your partner, it could be your kids more people can use this rope because you can actually change the length of the rope, which means it's gonna be more accessible to more people. So in a way you can kind of get more value for your money because now more people can use that and you can change that so easily and quickly. Okay, so that comes in here. The other thing as well is you get these ones here with the sort of like balls on the end. And what these are here for is kind of um, give you that sort of gravity feel, that feedback of knowing that the rope is going round. So now you can actually feel where the rope is in space. You feel like you've got a little bit of feedback there. So obviously you could just do this with your hands in space, but it doesn't really feel like you're skipping. You might feel a little bit silly. This gives you the feedback that you would have if you were doing skipping because these balls have a little bit of weight. And obviously the momentum of it as it goes around, it's gonna give you that feeling that you're actually skipping without the actual act of it. So it's that kind of like wireless idea of skipping. So these are the two ropes you're gonna get of it just to give you an idea of what's going on. The next thing I wanna sort of like talk about is actually some of the potential sort of cons that I've noticed while using it. And these are not so much bad cons to a degree. It, it wouldn't be something that would completely cut you off from being able to do it. However, it's something that possibly if the company that make it see this, there might be room for improvements or potentially other products. So the first one I'm gonna be talking about is actually the feel of these. I'm sure these are very, very robust. I haven't chucked them on the floor or done anything like that, but when you've got a skipping rope, especially if you're doing circuits, it's quite a common thing that you might drop them because you're quickly going on to the next exercise. My worry is because with anything plastic, you can't always tell how robust and how strong they are. If this was to break any of the buttons or any of these mechanisms, especially at the top, you can't use it anymore when something like this that I've got where it's very, very robust, it's made out of metal and there's very, very little that could break or go wrong of it and it's very, very strong, this I worry could this happen in the future? Because obviously it's got that plastic feel, could something go wrong of it and it could, could it break? Where I would prefer maybe even sort of a metal casing that would give it a little bit more protection. If I was to drop it, it wouldn't do it that, or any of these moving parts, they feel a little bit more robust. It feels a little bit light and you could say I feel a little bit cheap, but whether they were to bring out in the future maybe a premium model or just improve this model and just make it more hard wearing, that'd be something I would obviously look into. The other thing that I kind of would possibly have an issue with is just the quality of the rope. A lot of these higher quality sort of skipping ropes, you'll find they have this really, really hard outer casing. And in many cases, they have a steel wire that goes all the way through. And these are sort of ropes that are built to last. If you're constantly using it on concrete, even these are gonna take a bit of a beating, but something like this is gonna last far longer than something like this, which you tend to get on those cheaper style of ropes. However, they do sell a skipping rope mat on their website. So if you were to put that down wherever you're skipping, that's obviously gonna remove that issue for you entirely. So that wouldn't be so much of an issue, but again, it's that kind of, have we got kind of a cheapest sort of product here 
considering the price they're asking. So if you're in the UK, you're looking at about 40 pounds for it. it, could be 49 euros. If you use the link down below, I do have a discount code. So if you wanna save yourself 10%, that will actually save you a little bit of money as well. And it also helps the channel as well. But that's the thing is, is whether you are actually getting your money's worth when it comes to the materials. I don't know, time will tell when I use this a little bit more, what's gonna to happen to the quality of the rope. And obviously if I was to drop this, what's gonna happen? How durable is this piece of equipment in the long run? This is an interesting product. I think it's really, really cool. I think it's a little bit unique on a very, very traditional idea of just using a skipping rope. And obviously I know a lot of you are probably just like, they'd rather use a traditional one. It will do the job and it's cheap. But this again, I think the real power of this is it allows the accessibility of when and where you can skip. And I think that's a really, really powerful thing when it comes to consistency, that you're no longer then dictated by either the weather or the environment or when you can go to a certain area, whether that is when you're able to skip, where this allows you to skip anywhere you want. Again, these are very, very small, fits in your pocket. You can take these away with you. You can just do skipping wherever you want and you can add up these numbers. So this makes doing your jump rope far, far more accessible and you can do it more often without any things getting in the way. So guys, remember to use that link down below if you wanna check out this product and use a discount code if you're gonna buy it for yourself. And if you do, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.